And Paulo Soferi joins us now, a very well-dressed Paulo Soferi. I guess that tells you what week we're in, doesn't it, Paulo? Finals and final presentations and all that. Yeah, absolutely. Just got out of class. Had a nice presentation. And uh, here you are. You, it is your fourth year, so senior day for you this week, even though you do have another year of eligibility remaining. What, what does a week like this and a game like this mean to be able to walk on that field before with the class you came in with? You know, just, just all the memories that have gone through the last four years uh, kind of flash back in your head. Um, can remember being in Day Hall like it was yesterday with uh, the guys that came in with. Mm-hmm. Um, and just like, like I said, like all, all the memories we've the, in these last four years with these guys, it's, it's truly been special. Are the emotions on a day like this interesting? Because in one way it is the end of something, but at the same time you guys have so many other goals beyond what you're doing on the field this Saturday. You want to be playing for a whole other month here. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, uh, I, I have another year, so like I, I have uh, another year with these guys. But like the memories I've shared with Jay McDermott and Derek DeJoe, the guys who uh, are our seniors and unfortunately will uh, not be with us next year. Um, but also, like, like you said, going into the postseason, um, we, we still have a ton we have to accomplish, and this this just kind of I, I treat this day like a reflection kind of you know like just like I said to to, to reflect upon the time I've spent with these guys and, and the special bonds we've made. I'd say your team usually handles it uh, pretty well here on the the senior day, but let's go back to another weird emotional kind of day, which was Sunday. How'd you guys handle that crazy crazy afternoon with rain delays and the big games, and then got out of there with a trophy? It certainly was tough to get refocused after three hours of sitting in damp clothes, um, but uh, <laughs> you know we did it. Like we came out with a with a grind attitude, and um, everyone just gave everything they had for that last seven minutes, and we were able to put Duke in the dirt. To be honest with you, and just just uh, play our best lacrosse. I thought we played all year. I mean, you scored a goal, or Dylan did, 13 seconds right after it started. How much? I mean, you guys were pumped up to begin with, but how much did that really put it over the top that you guys got rolling right away? That was huge for us because uh, we were man up and um, Duke actually was building momentum before the rain delay. So for, for him to be able to score that right off the bat was like kind of like started a chain reaction almost. Uh, mm-hmm. one, that, that play led to another and then we just kept rolling through that seven minutes. What do you think it is about the makeup of the team though that, that was able to handle it well? Because that could have gone one of two ways. I mean, it, you weren't necessarily going to be that sharp, but you guys harnessed the emotion as well as you could have. Absolutely. I mean, we have a lot of experienced guys on this team. Um, going back to last year, we were in like some crazy like nine one goal games or something like that. And uh, just just uh, having the guys with experience in those situations and being able to guide younger guys with their emotions and stuff was uh, it was huge for us. Guys like Dylan, guys like Sergio, who have been playing for a bunch of years and were able to uh, kind of lead the way in, in the in the last seven minutes there. The Sergio especially at four points in the last seven minutes of the game. He went crazy. And now here you are with this Colgate game. Colgate's record obviously is not great this year and maybe not up to what it has been the last few times you've played them. But how much does the knowledge that, hey, they played you as close as they could have last year help keep you focused this week? Coach always says, you know, uh, guys coming to the Dome and, and that – could be kind of like their Super Bowl. Like they, they want to take down the orange. We are like a perennial, perennial power. So like it kind of makes some guys seasons. And honestly, they've been in every game they've played. They're, they're four and nine, but they still have been in every single game they've played. So we're not overlooking them at all. They're still a really good team. And uh, we cannot honestly afford to overlook them. All right, Paolo, not your last game in the Dome, but uh, enjoy your senior day this Thank week. Thank you very much. I appreciate it.